The content presented is offered through Statistica Hub. Your support sustains Statistica Hub's commitment to providing high-quality educational resources for free through its open course programs. Explore additional courses on the Statistica Hub platform at www.statisticahub.com. Hello everyone, I am Karishma and uh, I'll be teaching this course on uh, Bayesian inference under Statistica Hub Open Course Program. This course is of approximately 8 to 10 weeks and uh, as it is an open course, so the course will be available free on YouTube. Now, uh, before starting all the lectures, I want you to give the brief introduction as what we'll be we covering in this particular course. So yeah, so if I'll talk about the Bayesian inference, Bayesian inference. So this Bayesian inference is a fundamental concept in statistics and probability theory that allows us to estimate or to update, to update our beliefs, beliefs about uncertain events, uncertain events as we gather, we gather new evidence or information or information right so as its name says Bayesian this is named after very famous scientist that is Thomas Bayes Thomas Bayes now Thomas Bayes has given a very important theorem which is the cornerstone of the of the Bayesian inference which is Bayes theorem Bayes theorem okay so the main core is of studying this whole course of Bayesian inference is that it involves combining the prior knowledge or beliefs about a particular event or parameter with observed data okay prior knowledge I have mentioned some terms that is prior knowledge okay and it combines with the observed data observed data that is information that is available to us okay so i said that the bayesian inference involves combining the prior knowledge or beliefs about a particular event or parameter with the observed data to form a posterior distribution posterior distribution and this posterior distribution represents the updated beliefs updated beliefs or knowledge updated beliefs or knowledge about the event or the parameter okay so the Bayesian inference the Bayesian inference provides a flexible framework for statistical modeling and inference it allows researchers to provide to include the prior knowledge and the update beliefs as we gather new information so now let's discuss about the applications of the Bayesian inference. So it has uh, so many applications that it is widely used in some of the fields like uh, in some of the fields like in the medical in the medical like medical diagnosis. Okay, let me add a new page. Uh, yeah, if I'll talk about the applications here, it is used in medical diagnosis. Uh, financial modeling, financial modeling, machine learning, machine learning, and uh, weather forecasting, weather forecasting, weather forecasting, etc. So in these, all these things, we use Bayesian inference, okay? Now these are the practical relevance of Bayesian inference across domains, okay? Now let's take some example. Uh, let's talk about the medical diagnosis first, okay? So as I said, Bayesian inference is used in medical diagnosis to combine prior knowledge 
Now, what is the prior knowledge in the medical diagnosis field? Let's consider if I am working on any patient, I, I am having any patient, okay? So what will be the prior knowledge about a patient is its symptoms, what are the symptoms that particular patients have, okay? And the medical history, patient's medical history, etc. This is my prior knowledge. And we will combine this prior knowledge or information about a patient with the current observed clinical trials. That is the current information that we have. And what is the current information? That is observed clinical trials. Observed clinical trials data can be like test results, test results. So we will combine these two things by the Bayesian inference and there are some particular methods to do that. And by using this source of information, the healthcare professionals can make a more accurate diagnosis and treatment decisions. Okay. Now, if we'll talk about the, let's say weather forecasting. So in the weather forecasting, the Bayesian inference is used to the prior knowledge about weather patterns. Like the weather patterns can be like taken from the historical data. Now we will combine this prior knowledge with the current information and the current information can be like in the weather, temperature, uh, humidity, wind speed, wind speed. And we will combine these prior information and the observed information to predict future weather conditions. So here by considering uncertainty estimates into forecasting processes, we can provide more reliable predictions and quantify the likelihood of different weather scenarios. Okay. Now, Let's talk about the machine learning as nowadays, I think everyone is interested about machine learning that how it works and what is happening in the machine learning. Now you will be shocked to know or surprised to know, not shocked, that the machine learning, in the machine learning, Bayesian inference is widely used. Okay, how? Let's talk about it. Uh, we'll not talk about it in detail, so relax. So if I'll talk about the machine learning, As I said, Bayesian inference is widely used in the machine learning algorithms, machine learning algorithms, particularly in probabilistic, probabilistic graphical models. Probabilistic graphical models like Bayesian networks, Bayesian networks, and Marco random fields, random fields, okay? We'll not discuss it right now that in, in detail that how it is used in the machine learning, but yeah, it is just the field that I'm discussing right now that it is widely used in the machine learning in informing all this information, okay? So a course like this, of uh, a course of this nature of Bayesian inference will be certainly useful to all the students who are studying Bayesian inference in their in the undergrad, in their masters, or uh, you can say it will always be, it will also be useful for the, for the professionals who are in the research career or working in a, any industry. So uh, let me discuss some brief thing that, uh, what is the syllabus of this particular course and what we will be covering uh, the detail in the detail format. Okay, let me share the, uh, the course syllabus PDF. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, so here it is. Uh, the, it is an open course. Uh, so you will find this PDF in the in the description of this video. And you can also visit our site uh, to download this or visit or see this PDF that what are the prerequisites? The prerequisite for this course is basically you need to know the basic probability theory and statistical inference and the basic algebra and calculus. Now, uh, statistical computing using R uh, if you know the R, that is good, but if you don't know, it's okay. As we are going to learn some case studies also, and uh, I also try to provide the, some, like, provide to use the Bayesian inference using the R. 
okay i'll try to do that okay now this is some introduction about me if you want to contact me or uh, you can use the linkedin account and you can use the email okay now yeah let's talk about the main thing that is course curriculum under statistica hub now every video that uh, i'll upload uh, one by one of the lectures it will be of approximately 60 minutes and uh, uh, further i will cover this course like that so we have designed this course into the module format so the first module is introduction to bayesian inference and uh, the second module is computation method for bayesian inference the third module is a bayesian uh, model comparison and testing of hypothesis and the fourth module is applications of bayesian inference and in this model we after covering all the syllabus we will be seeing some case studies and applications in various domains now uh, these are the recommended textbooks of the bayesian inference i'll be mainly following the the book of lee peter lee okay which is bayesian statistics and introduction from the armor press okay and you can also look to the uh, book the second book that is uh, reach and ghosh okay uh, and uh, the third book that is i have also given the link of that link of that book so you can download it from here okay yeah and for any other query you can visit to our website and you can email us you can do the whatsapp okay now uh, as of talking the first lecture i'll be uh, doing the i'll be covering the basics of the probability theory so don't worry if you have any doubt in the probability theory or anything i'll be starting from the very basics okay so yeah so i hope you'll uh, learn the 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 joy of the statistics through this course so uh, best wishes to all of you for doing this course and uh, thank you